Hello. Now I'm going to show you the um, flow, the Git flow of your project. So in concrete, so you have already learned about uh, how to use the Git, how to branch, how to merge. Uh, you, you learn about what is the goal of using a pull request. And I'm going to do the, all the actions that you need to do, actually. Uh, at least most of it. Not okay. Uh, such that you can uh, do the same in your project and learn what you need to do, which branches to create. So the, the main idea is that you have at least in your project at least five branches. You have the master, where you go into the lever, the code for us to evaluate, okay, uh, the integrated code. You have the develop, you are going to integrate the code of the different subgroups, so the code of each functionality goes there to be integrated and to have a final product that contains the contributions from each subgroup and for each functionality. And you're going to have one branch for each specific functionality, where the group of two basically write the code till they finish a feature or a story and then they just uh, pull request from this branch to the develop branch where the code is integrated. So the main idea is that when uh, the group of two finish something that uh, they believe it already ready to be in the final product, they just do a pull request to the branch, to the develop branch, and in the two members of the other groups in the develop branch, they accept or reject the pull request depending on the quality of it. So that's basically what I'm going to explain that um, you need to do in your project, okay? So the first thing I have here, the project, and you see uh, that you already have two branches here, master and develop, okay? So, but the first thing I'm gonna do is to check out the code. You have already done that, but uh, so I got git clone, and I'm gonna clone the code here, okay? Good. So then I do CD. Okay. Takes a while. Maybe it's a bit too slow. Okay. Then, so I have this directory, CD. Okay, LS. Here I am. So the first thing, let's, let's just get, see the status. Git status. Okay. And we'll see that you, you are on branch master, so I'm on branch master. Your, your branch is up to date with origin master, so is up to date with the remote, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see how many branches do I have here. So I do branch, and I see I only have master. So do you remember we have two, master and develop, where is develop? Well, I can ask also about the remote branches. So I do git branch minus minus all. And what you, I see here is basically that I have master and then I have remotes in the remotes origin add, which it's the one I, I'm working there. And then I have origin develop and origin master. Okay, so if I want to have a copy of this locally, what I need to do is just git check out develop. Okay, I just move there, so if I do a git status, we'll see that I'm in develop. If I do a git branch, then I have two branches and you have the wildcard there, so I'm in uh, develop. Okay, good. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm going to create a branch when I'm do, going to do my contributions from the point of view of the functionality of the group of two. So this is, I'm gonna do this, and then my colleague needs to do the, do the same, I'll just check it out if I do it first. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new branch. So I create a branch, oh sorry. So git branch, git branch. And let's say that is Torneio de Perguntas, okay? TDP, so that's one functionality. So let's see what is the status now. I have three branches and I continue in develop. Actually, td p points to where develop points, okay? If I want to change here, I just do git check out tdp. And now my, 
and now my add is on TDP. So now everything I change, every commit I do, it will actually be on the TDP code line. Okay, so let's do something. So let's just, uh, oh, oh, now I want to copy this to the remote. To, because look, in the remote, oh, we can see it like this as well. So if I do all, we see that in the remote, it's not there. So to put it in the remote, I, I try to do a push, git push. Okay, and it tells me an error that to push the current branch and set remote the stream use. So what happens is that I need to say that what is going to be the upstream, so the one that by default when I do push goes, do, I'm going to set the remote repository for this my local branch. So basically, I'm going to set it to be origin. I just copy it there and do it here. Okay. Good. What you're going to see now, if, if I move there and if I open it here, we see that, okay, I need to refresh the page. Good. And if I refresh the page, we'll see that now I have this branch there. So at the end, I expect you to have basically three branches here, master develop and each one, one for each one of the functionalities. Okay. So let's go a little bit further. And what I'm not going to do now is to show you how do you commit, how do you... So first, let's do something. So I trust... I'm going to edit the readme. Okay. Um, sorry. Okay. Skype is it. So I edited README. If I do git status, what do I see? That README is changed. Okay. If I want to prepare it to commit, I do git add README. And now if I do git status, it's modified. And now I can commit it. I can get it, git commit, and I write a message which is changed read me dot md okay and now if i do git status it's going to tell me that my branch is head of, of origin by one commit okay suppose that i have finished my work my task here and i want these to be integrated with my colleagues code into develop so the first thing i'm going to do is just git push to the other side, okay? And it's, so if I now do a git status, it will say that branch is up to date to the other side. Why? Because I just pushed the code, so it's the same code there, okay? So what do I need to do here now? What I need to do is to do a, a commit, right? I want, sorry, to do a pull request. I want to pull, to propose a pull request. But before I do a pull request, I need to set up the context so that I force pull requests into develop. The way to force pull requests into develop, you go to the settings, and in settings, you, you choose the branches, okay? And then you, dis, you need to decide to define what is the default branch. Your default branch is develop. Just read what is there to say where you do the pull requests is into the default branch. Okay. I understand that this is going to be the default branch. So what I'm doing, actually, I'm forbidding people to do a push to develop. Should be done through a pull request. And more, I'm going to put some rules how this pull request should be approved. So I'm going to add a rule that says that it requires the pull request before merging requires at least two reviews, okay? So I, at least two people need to review our code in order to approve it, right? So I do it here, okay? Rule is invalid. Oh, because I forgot to put develop there. So I'm going to say that 
requires pull request and I need to have two reviewers. Okay, and I finish. Good. So here you are. Now, what I'm going to do, I go to pull requests and I'm going to pull request what? I'm going to pull request from what is in my functionality branch into develop and I create the pull request. And I can even assign people to the pull request. I haven't done it, but let's say I assign two colleagues to the pull request. And now, two of your colleagues should read the code, run the code, and if everything is okay, they, they approve it. And when it is approved, now it's red because it's not, but it, you, you don't have the two okays. But once you have two confirmations, then you can create a merge commit and basically the, your branch, the code in your functionality branch is committed into develop. Okay? Now I'm going to explain the last thing that you need to do. Suppose you are working, okay, and other people are putting code into the develop, okay? So it's nice that you have the most fresh code. So to have the most fresh code, now what you need to do is you frequently do this, git checkout uh, develop, okay? And what you do frequently, you do a git pull here. What, when you do git pull, now it's already up to date, but if there are new things in develop, you bring it to your area. Once you have done this, you do a git checkout to your functionality branch, uh, which is torneio de perguntas, okay? And every time you need, you just do a git merge from what develop. That way, now it's gonna say, is already to, to date. But that way you get the most fresh code into your functionality so that when you commit to the other side, your code only have a small change from what is in the develop, which is what we have done, okay? So, and in that way, basically, you make things easier for the final integration. I think that's basically all, okay? Good work.